going on guys? This is Chase Dantham, special Christmas episode. Merry freaking Christmas! Woo! We're gonna be coming out with the new Chasing the Dream video vlog next year early on. So hit subscribe, follow us. Today we're gonna be talking about gifts for your significant other, somebody else in the band, um, maybe somebody getting into business. Let's roll. Let's roll. What you got in the bag for me, man? What are we, what are we gonna talk about? What are we gonna show our, our listeners? Straight from the, the North yours. Pole here, we got some goodies. All right, coming in first, let me find this. There's just so many good stuff in here. So much good you stuff. You can't have enough gear as a musician. This is where I'm coming. Let me grab a couple things as we go through this here. All right. First things first, quick, easy stocking stuff right here. We have, um, Basically, essentially, it's a string winder, right? It's this little guy here. It's going to save you so much time. You take this, you put it on your pegs there, and you start spinning it and spinning it and spinning it, rather than sitting there and just turning knob after knob after knob after knob. I mean, that's essentially it there. Yeah, both um, of us, the, sh the amount of shows that we play, we're changing strings pretty much every show. If you have multiple guitars, it just saves you a lot of time maybe some future arthritis down Absolutely. the road, who knows. You can also get some motorized ones if you want to spend a little bit more money, but those are super cheap, they're easy, and they fit great in a stocking, right? Absolutely. So next here, this is a, one of my go-to favorites. This is a pick holder right here. You can hold probably up to six or seven picks on there, and it mounts on pretty much most microphone stands. The nice thing about this is, uh, if you're like me, I like to have multiple gauges picks. If I'm doing a solo, I like something a little bit softer, a little more flexible. Doing a little more rhythm, I like to have a little something harder. Or if you're just rocking out in front of tons of fans and you like to throw that pick out in the crowd, you're your number one fan. It's nice to have some extras here. It gets you out of a pinch. Last thing you want to be, you know, mid solo and have no pick to, to help you out. So pick yourself up one of these. Once again, fits nice in a little stocking and they're super cheap. Must too. Must have. Another little cheap, cheap stocking stuffer is a capo. And they come in all say, sizes, shapes, costs. Um, these are great. If you want to mess up the rest of the band, you want to just throw it on fifth fret, start playing a G, say, hey, this is what we're doing, and you start rolling with it. You can write songs with this, you can do whatever you want. Um, they're cheap. They, they range from like $10. They have the little cheap ones with the string that go over it. They have really expensive ones that will lock down for you. But either way, uh, this is a great way to just have some fun and, and yeah, change absolutely. the tuning on your guitar without yeah. having to tune it. Also helps you find that vocal range, right? So if you're trying to play a song and you know maybe it might be a little too high in range, you can drop it down uh, to a different key and play the same song and a register that hits your, you know, within your range. So real nice and easy. What else you got? Can't leave home without it. Guitar strap, man. Guitar strap. So not just any guitar strap. This particular strap is a locking strap. It's got a little slide locking mechanism, and I highly, highly recommend getting a locking strap. But what's nice about this one, unlike um, others I've seen in the past, you don't have to drill into your guitar. You have a nice guitar here, and you don't want to have to drill more into it and potentially damage it. So having one of these uh, interchangeable locking straps allows you to use it on multiple different guitars, Gives you that confidence while you're playing that you're not going to drop your guitar and you can keep on going without you know losing uh, your your baby up there on stage. So it's a little bit more money, but a little bit more money. It's worth it if you're going right. to spend the money on the guitar. Yeah. Keep it protected. Yep. Yep. Save that investment. Another one is. Uh, I mean, what iPad holder? iPad holder, essentially. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this this right here. This this is this is up to our level. It's up to our game. If you uh, we play long shows, three four hours. There's a lot to remember. We could put our, our set list on there, the chord sheets, um, a lot of lyrics to remember. So I forget lyrics a ton. I can go over and just kind of, you know, it's crazy. Sometimes like I'll just forget the beginning of the song. Right. And then I walk over to this and I see the first word of the first verse yeah. and I remember the entire song. Yeah. So this is really just like elevated us yeah. in time. And it's discreet too because, you know, when you're playing in a, a, an auditorium or somewhere that's dark and it's not really well lit, Having that iPad just right next to your stand, it's must, much less visible than having sheets and sheets of paper on the, the ground. You know, when you're playing four, you know, four hours, that's a lot of songs to have to, you know, tape to the ground. And so it attaches is, right to the mic stand, right yep. there. 
you just screw it down, you tighten it to it. Has all these different deals to where you can bring it up to size right to where you want it to be. You could change the lighting on the iPad so that way it's not blaring on stage and, yeah. and it's not when it's dark out there, you're not coming over here and changing the look and then going out there and looking in the dark. So this is a must have. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's up to our game. They're cheap, they're easy. You can find them on Amazon. Tons of different companies out there are, are putting these things out for a really reasonable price. Only Travis has it. We all need it. <laughs> guitar cables, right? You can't have enough guitar cables. They come in every size, length, color, you name it. I particularly like this red color. I take a lot of grief from everybody in the band, but you know the one thing is that when we go home at the end of the night, 2, 3 a.m. We ain't taking his cord. You ain't taking the red, we ain't fighting over who's is whose cord. So I, I like having something a little bit different, but like I said before, you can't have enough of these as a guitar player or you know as a musician in general, right? They're easy for these things to, um, the wires come loose, to get pinched off, and if you don't have one, you, ain't, you may not be playing that show, right? So. Gotta get yourself some cables. This is it. The big banger. <coughs> the grand finale. The good one here. <clears throat> I just learned about this today. This, this thing is great. It's a Vox amp here. You tell me about it, Travis? Absolutely. So probably hands down, one of my favorite new guitar items this year that I've purchased is this Vox modeling amp. It's called the Audio, A-D-I-O. It's wireless. You can see it's battery operated. Um, it basically models all of the different Vox amps out there. <clears throat> We're going to do a side by side comparison down the road. You'll see in one of our other video vlogs here when, uh, cause I play a Vox live. So I wanted to see how this thing holds up. And I can honestly tell you, this thing is epic, man. The sound quality that comes out of these tiny little speakers, there's onboard effects, there's delay, flanger, reverb, etc., And it actually pushes a lot of volume. So, I don't know about you guys, but after a, a show, I pack up my gear. My wife doesn't want it hanging around the house. This thing being so tiny, discreet, and wireless like this, I can virtually practice anywhere in the house without bothering anybody. We lock him in the closet, and that's, <laughs> that's where he stays, and he yep. just practices. And <laughs> The nice thing, too, is there's an onboard Bluetooth feature, which allows me to, you know, Rich will send me a scratch track, and I can be practicing through it and be building my guitar parts you know, uh, at the same time as I'm jamming. So it works out really well. So it's going to cost you a little bit more money. This comes in the $250, $300 range, but it's definitely a great gift for your guitar player out there. So with that being said, man, thanks for joining yeah. us for this Christmas edition. And remember, keep chasing the dream. Merry Christmas. Woo!